13 Alien Like Animals Found on Earth. But first, we'd like to give a shout out to our Danish subscribers out there who enjoyed our Strange Places Found in Denmark video. Thanks for leaving us these comments and let us know if you're still watching. We could have certainly added more cool places in that video. Number 13, Nomura's Jellyfish. In our never ending quest of finding life on other planets, we can't forget about all the strange alien like creatures living on Earth already. We might not even need to look for alien life on other planets because these creatures seem like aliens on Earth. Things like the Nomura's jellyfish make you ask yourself if it's possible this thing was brought here from a different planet. This giant gelatinous creature can grow up to be six and a half feet long and actually weigh 400 pounds. These are mostly found in the waters between Korea and China, but have recently been seen popping up along the Sea of Japan lately. Jellyfish have been around for over 700 million years and who knows how they were made. Can anyone else imagine this thing flying a spaceship pretty well with all those tentacles? Number 12, the coconut crab. When contemplating what type of alien life could be out there, you would have to imagine giant species of crabs like this giant coconut crab could exist. It almost appeared as though a crab was found on Mars with images taken from the Mars rover recently. Although they've gone nearly extinct from overhunting by humans, on a world without hungry humans, these crustaceans could certainly thrive due to their exoskeletons and survival instincts. They get their name because they're about as difficult to open up as a coconut. These critters have also been known to cannibalize each other when they're going through a tough time. Maybe the origins of crabs are actually from another world. Who knows? Number 11, the sarcastic fringe head. It gets its name for its colorful big mouth, not exactly its sarcastic tone. This creature is found in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. You can almost imagine some alien creature opening its jaws in a similar fashion when trying to scare puny earthlings. It's also extremely territorial and won't take too kindly to anyone getting too close to it. The rest of its body is quite eerie with its long fins and scaleless skin. It's also believed that they use their large mouths for a strange battle that often seems like they're kissing each other. Number 10, the blobfish. Also known as the world's ugliest animal, the blobfish doesn't take its blob form until it's out of water. In fact, it looks somewhat like a normal fish until you take it out of the ocean. Due to its lack of muscles and bones, it's primarily a gelatinous organism with a body that's primarily made of water. Its lack of muscles, however, isn't a huge disadvantage, and it primarily eats edible flakes of floating sea matter, also known as marine snow, and even small crustaceans. These are native off the coast of Australia and New Zealand, deep below the sea. Very little is known about these alien-like creatures except that they might be in danger due to commercial fishing. Number 9, the Saiga. The Saiga antelope appears to look very similar to the character Alf from the 80s TV show who was portrayed as an alien. These are also critically endangered, but not entirely from humans infringing on their habitat. It's most likely from a mysterious plague that swept through their population in Uzbekistan, Russia, and Kazakhstan. The strange horns can normally be used during fights when mating season begins, which can often be fatal to other Saiga. Herds can be composed of 30 to 40 animals. They seem to possess speed from out of this world too, and can reach speeds of 80 miles per hour. Number 8, the Lamprey. This strange looking creature has been dubbed an alien species by marine biologists and it looks simply horrifying. They resemble fossils that are over 360 million years old and have a unique way of feasting. These creatures have been introduced to non-native environments and were able to thrive, reproducing quickly. This is a parasitic animal like a leech on steroids with no jaw that would dig their way through an animal's skin with a piston-like tongue and drink their blood. In fact, this animal actually has teeth on its tongue. Sea lampreys can even grow up to three feet long and be as thick as your arm. These are still considered to be a fish, similar to an eel, but with no eyes and with a mouth that's hard to say exactly what it is. They become major pests, especially in the Great Lakes of North America. These have been known to get turned into food for the upper class and are sought after in places like Portugal. Lampreys have been known to latch on to humans and scare the living bejesus out of them. Number seven, the giraffe weevil. This creepy looking bug doesn't look like anything else on earth except maybe a bug version of a giraffe or something. The neck on a male is typically two to three times the length of its body. Native to the island of Madagascar, which is an island off the coast of Africa, it's known for its strange animals and it's remained fairly isolated from human contact for millennia. The extended neck helps the weevil in building nests and fighting. If it didn't already seem frightening enough, these things can fly too, so watch out. Number six, the eye eyes. 
these primates also found on the island of Madagascar are completely nocturnal and spend a majority of their lives living above ground in trees. When they made direct eye contact with you, you might think they're some kind of extraterrestrial being. Instead of having opposable thumbs like most primates, these guys have opposable toes which allow them to hang quite well on the trees. If humans were to encounter a species of primate living somewhere outside this world, you'd have to imagine it would look something like this. They have incredible night vision and are quite intelligent when it comes to finding food. They can use their sharp fingernails to bore through tree logs and scoop out larvae to eat. Number 5. The Malagasy Leaf-Nosed Snake Another strange species found on Madagascar will make you wonder if this island was colonized by Martians or something. This reptilian has a strange leaf-like nose, as the name implies, and are found slithering through leaves and other vegetation. You might spot one hanging on branches, waiting to pounce on an unexpected animal like a lizard. The female snake of this species often has a more serrated nose, while the male has a much pointier one. The animal is currently endangered and protective measures should be made in order to protect this animal. Number 4. Sea Potatoes You certainly would not be wanting to put a sea potato in the oven and then smearing it with butter. These are a member of the sea urchin family and are found in subtitle regions in various temperatures around the world. When you see one dried up on the beach, you might think at first that it's some type of ancient baseball or something. It gets the name of sea potato not just because it looks like one, but also because they're found living under the sea floor, usually about 10 to 15 centimeters below ground, and also under big rocks. It's normally able to feast on decaying animal debris that falls to the bottom of the ocean. They seem to have invaded the coasts of Britain and Ireland, and no one is concerned about them going extinct anytime soon. They're able to survive at depths of 650 feet below the water, and use their spoon-like spines to dig themselves into the ground. Could this possibly be a species of alien living under the ocean floor? Who knows? Number 3. The Red Lip Batfish This strange looking fish looks like it just put on some lipstick and is ready to give you a big kiss. But don't be so easily seduced. This thing could certainly be an alien waiting for a human to abduct and put into their spaceship. This is another bottom dwelling ocean creature who can seemingly walk on the ocean floor with its four feet. Is there really any other species of animal that can do that? These are found off the coast of the Galapagos Islands and you have to wonder if this may have helped Charles Darwin's theory that the ocean animals were able to grow legs, walk, and then survive on land. Could this thing possibly be the missing link? Number 2. The Okapi this bizarre species of mammal, also known as the okapi, seems to have the legs of a zebra and almost like the body of a horse. It belongs to the giraffidae family, which only has two different animals in its family. It's strange how it only shares genes with one other animal on this planet, which would be the giraffe. What's also peculiar about this animal is its long blue tongue that's able to reach its eyeball. And number one, domesticated cats. Some are truly beginning to believe that domesticated house cats are truly a species of aliens. They are sent to spy on the human race, hematize us with their cuteness, and report back what they've witnessed to the mothership. Could those big islands be like alien cameras tracking humans every move? If you take away the fur and the ears, this thing starts to look like an alien. Their eyes glow in the dark and they have remarkably better vision than us. Cats have also been worshipped by ancient Egyptians as gifts from God, and no other ancient civilization has recordings of their existence. What are the origins of domesticated cats? Cats can strangely fall from high elevations and always seem to land on their feet unlike a lot of animals. If they're not creepy enough, they'll also begin to eat their owners after they passed away. Just take it as a warning. 